Hi, um, this video is going to talk about um, the basic counting technique um, which is uh, essential to find the numerator while calculating the probability. So basically we are going to count to find what are the total po uh, possibility that uh, um, an arrangement or uh, an outcome happens. So I'll go over these five examples. Um, so um, for example, we have five chairs in a row, and we're trying to f to find like how uh, we're going to arrange to make an arrangement such that A and B are separated. So for this uh, question, we're going to calculate in the in an opposite way. So for example, we're going to calculate what are the total number that we can arrange five chairs in a row. And then we are going to, 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 to think in a way that um, A and B are um, always together. So beside A, B, and then we have three more spots left. Or beside B, A, we have another three spots left. So using the total number of possible total total possible the num total number of possibility. Then we can minus the number, the, the 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 events that we are not looking for. Then we can get the total range, total number of arrangement that A and B are separated. So in this case, which will be four times three times two times one, which is the cases for below. But A and B is different from B and A. So for this, uh, so for this uh, probably outcome. We're still going to times two to get rid of both cases, both A and B and B A cases. So the number here will be the total number. Will be the total number of possibility that we can arrange five chairs with while A and B are separated. So, mm -hmm. so in the second examples, we have three boys and three girls in a row. But we, but girl, but boy, boys and girls are not separated. So, for example, the number, um, the, the the total outcome can be, uh, so there are three boys here and then three girls, and the other will be three girls here and then three boys here, if they're not separated. So in so for the first cases we have three, so so there are six spot in total. So we can have like the first, so the first spot can have three boys, and the second second spot can have two boys. The 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 rest of the two boys, and then one, and then we go back to the girls times two times one. So that only counts for the first outcome. So same as the first example, we are also going to times two to multi multiply by two to cover both cases here. So this number is also said um seventy two, which is the total number of arrangement that how we can put three boys and three girls in a row, but they are not separated from each other. And move on to the third examples. So we have a copy here, which is the six letter words. And then we're going to randomly choose three letter and then what are the possible what are the what are the arrangement that we can for choosing three let randomly choosing three letters from, from this word. So here we have to we have to be careful that um, there are two F and two E here. So basically there are four um, unique letter. So in this case, we have to consider the consider the cases like, um, for example, if we choose two e, and then a random letter, or e, a random letter, and another e, and then a, f a random letter, and then two e. So same thing. So for the last spot, um, we only have three more unique letters. So in this case, we can only have three possibilities. 
same for the for each cases. So this is for only E. So for E, we can have nine cases. And the same thing for F. This can also have that token have nine cases for F. And the last outcome, which is totally three unique uh, random letter on these three spots. So since we have we only have four unique letters, so the first spot can we have can at most have four pos uh, letters show on the first spot, and then three on the second, and then two on the third. So for this question, choosing three letters, uh, and then find the number uh, total number of arrangement, then we can have four times three times two, where we own where uh, we own, we have. We, on, we, we are only using the unique number at unique letter on each spot. Plus, we can have two identical letter and plus with another unique letter. For this is for E, and then we also have the cases, the same scenario for F. So this will be the total cases to choose three letters out of these four unique letters. And then this will be the total number of arrangement for three letters. Okay. So for this examples, we are trying to find the probability of only one six in three tosses. So in this scenario, we can have, for example, six on the first spot, then nothing on the third and the second spot then nothing on the first spot, six on the second spot, nothing again, or nothing, nothing, and then six on the third spot. So we can have three arrange, three time, three kinds of prob, um, outcomes that can happen. And then for each of the three outcomes, the first um, three, so we are, so there are six numbers on one dice. So the first, so for example, we're um, in the three spot, we're only getting one six. So the, num the, pro the probability for one, for one six um, for a dice will be one six, one over six. And then, and then for the second spot, we cannot have a six. So we are only, we can only get number from one to five so it will be five over six and the same thing for the third spot so we can only have five we can only choose from one to five so this will be the number for uh, this will be the probability for only having one six in three in three tosses but this number we also need to times three to cover the three cases for the three scenario above. So after we multiply by three, so this will be the probability that we only have one six, one six in three tosses. So we have to we have to be careful that uh, we have to always be careful that we cover all the scenario that could possibly happen. For example, in these in the previous example. So here, for the last examples, we have um, um, seven numbers, and then we are asked to select three that the sum is divisible by three. So um, for this question, if the sum is divisible by three, then at least um, the at least each of the number that consists consists of should be uh, should be divisible by three. So, for example, three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen can be div divisible divisible by three. So the number we don't want will be one and four. So we have um seven number here. So for so. For total number or total arrangement for this for a sum that is divisible by 
three. Basically, oh, okay, select three numbers. So, so we can see that. So basically, we're going to choose a number. Choose. So from a number, we're going to choose only three numbers. So this. So for the numerator, we only need to. We only have five selections, which is three, six, nine, twelve, and fifteen. So that will be our our um, three numbers arrangement that the sum is divisible by three. So if we have to calculate the probability, then we have to um, cover all the cases. So, so the denominator will be will be choosing three numbers out of all the seven numbers. But for the numerator, we can only choose three numbers out of five numbers because we are selecting three numbers that the sum is divisible by three. So we don't want one and four. So that left. So that leaves us only um, five numbers. So then this will be the probability that we choose three numbers from this array that the sum is divisible by three. So you can see that for all the counting technique, we always have to consider what are the what are the options that we can get in each spot and then we have to re we have to be careful that what are the what are the scenario that could happen for example we can have a b and b a that's two scenario so we have to we have to take care we have to we have to minus this number twice and here this here is the same same situation we have to times uh, this number twice to get boys and girls and the girls and boys situation so for here for this question we have to be careful for the unique letter or the or the or the two identical letter so we have to to plus um the scenario the the outcomes for for double e or double f same here the six can happen either in the first, second, or the third position. So we have to multiply it by three. And then here we just need to uh, basically um, get the total number of outcomes based on the condition that we're looking for. Then if we are asked to calculate the, the probability, then all we need to do is to divide it by the total number for the, all the possibility. All the all the possible outcome, then we will get the probability, which is uh, greater than zero and less than one for obvious reason. So um, this is the counting technique to find for finding the the possibility or arrangement for the numerator while we're calculating the the probability. So um, thank you very much, and let me know if there is any question or comment. And feel free to give me a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. Thanks.